Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So, after a, quite a few days of waiting, we finally get to hatch the Zhuanzang, or however you say it, Dragon's Egg. So obviously he was last week's Dragon of the Week and he's never been available to breed before, so we've had a couple of weeks of really nice Dragons of the Week. Oh my god, I love this baby. And the mystical Zhuanzang dragon inscribes the walls of caves around Dragonlandia with detailed records of its experiences that other dragons like to read. If only this trainer could read them too. What, so do they have their own, like, dialect? Kind of like in Skyrim? Maybe they just all foos for a everywhere. I don't know. That's just a... Uh, maybe. Maybe I'm just crazy, but... There we go. Brand new epic dragon to add to the collection. Very nice. We don't have the eagle dragon either, so I can see him there. The ace dragon's just there as well. But look at all these limited time dragons that we have. Oh, there's so many epics and rares. I actually love looking through our collection and seeing how many we have. But we do have Baby Quez, or Kez. I, don't, I can't pronounce any of these names today. But anyway, we do have him here. Void, water, and energy elements. He's always had a very weird combination of elements. Not sure if it has any meaning behind where he comes from or what he's based off of. Yeah, I mean, he kind of does look like a deep sea dragon fish hybrid thing. I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. But he is in his water habitat, so he can stay nice and refreshed. But we are going to level him up to his adult form, where he looks kind of swanky. And he has, like, purple highlights around his, uh, his mouth. I don't know. Maybe that's where the void comes from. Maybe he's, like... Toxic or something weird, but anyway, like I said new dragon. So I am a happy girl I'm not happy so far because we don't have the ace yet. I mean, I can't really complain We've been doing okay for dragons of the week recently So another two hours before we can get him out of there. We do have a regal dragon egg here as well Look how majestic it is but I don't want you. I've, I've had too many of you in the past. Good riddance. I would love to breed you on my Android game, but this is not the place for that. But like yesterday, we'll probably end up doing a couple of these Great Dragon Race clan quests. Because, I mean, they're just super easy and you get the ingredients and stuff out of them. And the more ingredients you get, the more points you get. And the more points you get, the more stuff you unlock for your clan. So... It is probably one of the most useful things that we could be doing, aside from just enchantment fights in general, and just map fights for the food and gold. But we, we can get everything done all at once when we just take it straight from the clan quests. So, might as well just start off by seeing what quests we have and just doing those as the, we get given them, basically. So, claim that, and then we have side quest fights, breeding I don't want to do, Dragon Fury I don't want to do, Explore ruins we could do, but we can't really do anything with it at the moment. Which is kind of annoying. I know we did all of our quests last night. So we probably don't have a whole lot of blue map quests left now. Because when you do all of them the day before, it gives you less the day after. So normally you only get a lot of them appearing if you miss out on playing for a couple of days. So we're probably not going to have too many to do, but... At the same time, you know, it gives us enough to get the golden food that we need to get out of them. So that is fine by me. But the Raptor Dragon event obviously is still ongoing, which is the Gem Dependence Day event, whatever. Weird name, whatever they wanted to call it, but... I don't know, I thought the Raptor Dragon was really cool, and uh, especially the baby is absolutely adorable. And I had someone else messaging me talking about how they loved its design as well, but then I'm seeing a bunch of people saying, The raptor's so ugly! Raptor's horrid! Blah 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 blah. I'm like, whoa! Are we looking at the same thing here? Like, what's wrong with him? Like, re like genuinely, I don't know, because, look, the rock snake, I can understand why you wouldn't like that guy. I definitely can understand that, because his, uh... His design is just really weird, being in a game like this. Same with the Pixel Dragon. That's another reason why I've never particularly liked the Pixel Dragon, because I just find him really ugly myself. But 
I don't know why people are hating on the raptor. He's cute. He's there to celebrate Independence Day, you know. Stop having a, a kerfuffle about it, you know. I mean, people are fine to like different things, but I feel like he's getting too much hate. It's like how sometimes you meet people in life where they've just been, like, bullied mercilessly for some reason. And then you're like, why did you get bullied? And they're like, oh, I don't know. They just, just did, didn't they? I mean... And then you're like, why are people so weird? Especially with mob mentality, people are just like, I don't like this thing, do you like it? And then the other person feels like, pressured into saying they don't like it either. And it just turns into a, a big mess, basically. So, as I normally say, that's basically just my way of saying I don't like people. Because people annoy me. Uh, don't, don't think too much about it, that's just how I always think, it seems, but... You know, especially with reading through comment sections and stuff like that all the time. I would definitely understand how painful it can be to talk to certain people. I mean, even with personal messages that I get sent sometimes, oh my god, you would not believe. Some people are... I don't even believe that some people are actual people that message me. It is like that bad. Like, I'm not... I've never understood people where they're like, Oh, I wish I was super popular, or I wish I was a massive celebrity and I got to speak to, like, thousands of people a day. Why? Why Why in the love of everything that is great in this world would you ever want to do that? Maybe you just never experienced it because you don't really understand what it's like. But just think about it this way. If you're, like... I don't know, uh, let's think of someone famous, Mariah Carey, or, I don't know, Jeremy Clarkson. If you do one thing wrong a lot of the time, then that's it. Your career is pretty much over for a lot of people. I know that Jeremy Clarkson, like, punched someone or punched his producer or someone on set with him and got fired, but in general, for, like, most people, they'll just send out one really weird tweet and then suddenly everyone's like you're not a real star get off the internet you failure and then everyone just hates on them for like saying i don't know i i don't think pineapple belongs on pizza and then look it's not usually that pointless it is normally something just like political or something that people could have a fight over but they'll just make like an off comment and then that's it that's pretty much their reputation ruined in the eyes of thousands of people. Do you really want that sort of pressure in your life? Because it's not nice for people like that knowing that if they even say something that's mostly acceptable, that you'll get a, gr a group of people just trying to be horrible for the sake of it. Like, did you ever hear about the um, famous guy? I don't remember who it was. Uh, I think it was the Guardians of the Galaxy guy, you know, the MC guy out of that. I'm forgetting his name, but, you know, apparently he just said something about deaf people, and then a bunch of people that weren't deaf got really offended by it, and then they started, like, complaining at him, and then he had to publicly apologize for, like, not even doing anything wrong, and then... Like, people dropped him as a partner just because one tiny little group of people decided to be an ass, basically. Like, realistically, I don't think most people want that sort of thing in their life. Like, celebrities, even though some of them, like, you know, the celebrities that you think, wow, you really don't do anything in your day. Like, probably for a lot of people, stuff like the Kardashians or the, uh, that random skanky ho from not long ago that got famous off of, like, the Dr. Phil show or whatever it was. But, at the end of the day, they have to deal with public comments and scrutiny. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with a bunch of people that are just jealous. So, it is not an easy job. Just being famous in general. Even if you don't do anything else, if people just know your name and know about you, it is tough. Tough work. And if you're someone that just has a quiet life, is just like making ends meet, or you're just going to school, you know, enjoying your day, I would honestly say that's probably better than having so much fame and fortune, because 
You might not be able to afford everything that you want, but you also don't have people telling you to go kill yourself every, like, hour of the day, which is quite nice. I mean, if you're someone that doesn't care like myself, you're just like, ha! What a sad iron bit. You know, some people can't deal with that. And I feel like a lot of people that aren't readily exposed to those sorts of comments, I don't think you'd be able to last, honestly. But anyway, that is just... I don't even know where I go on some of these random ramblings from. I guess just my own way of, you know, warning you that... You know what they say, the grass always appears greener on the other side of the bridge, but life... Life isn't really like that. It's like people are always like, I hate my job, I want to move to Alaska, I know I'll be happy there. And then they like, put their life on hold, quit everything that they've ever built, sell their house that they've saved up for like 20 years to buy and ruin all their family relations, and then they move to Alaska, and then they hate their job there as well. You know, just never think that suddenly moving cross-country or doing something drastic is just going to magically make you happy or fulfilled in life overnight. It doesn't work. I've moved to, well, I've lived in three different countries now, and I'm back in my original country, so I would know that better than anyone. Seeking fame and fortune is pointless. Thinking that everything else is better than what you have is also pointless. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm grateful that I can sit here, play DML, share that with you guys, and, you know, just chill some days. Obviously, I, I work too much for my liking at the moment, but eventually, we'll go back down to normal and hopefully, you know, maybe we'll be able to do DML streams daily. Like, imagine that. Just being able to stream this game, like, every day. Every morning and every night. How how good would that be? Would you enjoy that? How much more bored do you think I'd get of this game? Like, all the time? Probably very. But at the same time, you know, the more people that join in, the funner it's gonna be, and the more frequent the streams are, the more people are gonna join. So, I guess it is a double-edged sword. More effort, but a lot more reward out of it at the end of the day. Uh, I have to say, I would love to be able to stream, like, every day, but I don't have that luxury, especially with the way my schedule works out. Like, today I was cleaning for four hours. I woke up at, like, half seven in the morning, and I just cleaned all day. And as soon as I finished cleaning, I just started recording, so it's not like there's ever a break for me. But then again, if I'm not doing something to sort of increase my quality of well-being, or to, like, do YouTube stuff, I feel like I'm just wasting my time. So I don't know, maybe I just always want to have something to do, so I don't just feel like I'm... I don't know, scrounging isn't the right word, but just sort of wasting my time. But again, that's still better than having 10 billion Instagram followers that call you a fat slob every day. Definitely better than that, anyway. But for now, I am probably going to end up leaving it there, because we don't have a whole lot else to do. All these clan quests have been a bit mean to us today. But I'm happy we got our new dragon. I'm going to be trying to breed for the ace still. So wish me luck and I wish you luck as well. And obviously, if you're trying to breed the dragon of the month, I do have a guide on how to do that. But I do wish you the very best of luck because there's like a 3 to 4% chance of breeding him with most combos. So chances aren't very good. But alas, for now, thank you guys very much for being here and watching. And until next time... I will see you then.